Um, what you see here is the, the last piece I've done, and uh, all this has to be removed by Wednesday at sunset. So I appreciate Tom being here to shoot this on video. What I have here is what I call the serpent. And over here is simply a, a tree that probably fell five or six years ago. And it's, um, it's accented by these spikes. And if you can get the long range picture, I meant for it to look like a serpent, like a Loch Ness. And it has two stretches of these spiked fins. The first is uh, on up further towards the head of the serpent and a set of tall spikes. And then it dips and it rises again. And then to the back here, there's um, the tail, which is a very small piece that I was able to, to finish just the other day. Wow. So these were all pieces that were cut by the city from a local cemetery. And they were stacked to be tossed. And I grabbed them up and uh, was sitting on this log wondering what to do with them when the idea of the serpent uh, occurred to me. So they're, uh, they're secured with uh, all kinds of cable and rope. And the tension on the spines is by a set of wires. And the wires come down to a set of wooden pegs that I, I whittled and just used uh, local stones to pound into the sides. So they're uh, they have this tension that I can adjust and I can create different kind of movement with the spikes. And I'm not going to have time to finish the head of the serpent and uh, so it'll be left to the imagination. Okay.